So uh, you guys ever wonder, you walk outside, beautiful morning, beautiful day, two minutes later, you come outside, there's a storm, and the freaking, the earth is pissing on your roof. They're trying to drain it on your roof. What is this? Horrible weather outside, but with that being said, thank you guys for coming by. If we can, hit 200 likes again. Like, guys, I love you guys. Just because I wake up the next morning saying like, God, man, honestly, it's amazing. Not legit in my head, I don't say that. But you know what I mean? I just wake up and just feel great just knowing that you guys are always there. And also comment whatever question you guys have. I'm always commenting. I don't know why people say I don't comment. I do, all right? Listen, I do. But with that being said, let's get right into the build. First thing is blood-soaked armor, a guard, greater guard, and another greater guard. You have an amulet, a strike, major cast, and a health. A siphon with all minor strikes if you're jungling. Sage ward, which has... Two minor casts and a, and a minor strike. Uh, no, actually a strike. I was about to say, what the hell happened? Yeah, so it's a strike. Wind Cover Blade, which has two major casts and a kinetic. Wind Cover Blade, all minor strikes. Quenching Scales, all lesser health. Thick Blood, two strikes and a minor cast. Lastly, Thermal Bond with a barrier and two bar minor barriers. So with that being said, thank you guys. I love you guys. And let's get right into the gameplay. See, I finally have a gameplay with Quang. Pretty much a tanky build, if you guys did not know. And by the way, just have to throw this out there. I asked for a goal or anything. Literally, you guys smacked that goal in two minutes. Like, it's unbelievable. Thank you guys for everything. And, you know, hopefully 8K soon or whatever goal we, you know, pursue, honestly. But good news is, was jungling. Haven't jungled in a minute now. Usually, if you guys don't know, I go like ADC. I've been going switching through everyone mid or even offline whatever it is but you know jungle is not my thing because I stopped legit stopped doing that because I mainly started doing ADC or like even mid lane or something just because I could really do damage when I scale my cards I'm a hundred percent sure in a 1v1 I'm guaranteed to win. I don't care if the guy has the same exact cards or the same build. I'm going to hit my four shots with Revenant. Just that's how confident I am. I know when the bullets hit. I know exactly how the bullets shoot. And that's what really boosts up my confidence. Because the more attack speed I have, obviously, the more you're able to hit in that, like, second. So the more confident I am with that, the easier it is to get a kill with another ADC, honestly. So keep that in mind. This Fang, I don't know what he was doing, missed his melee, ended up going around him because right away I knew his melee missed me, so went around him and he missed. This is for round two, ding ding. Never say that, Flux, uh, that was pretty uh, cringy if you ask me, but no, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Listen up, alright, I had to cut your voice because that was just nasty, alright? To zero to ten, that was negative eleven, alright? Don't ever say that ever again. <clears throat> uh, my bad, uh, mom, relax. Oh my party mid. All right, easy kill on Gideon. Ended up going to Severog. Had green buff. Obviously wasn't gonna challenge. My green buff exploded. So want the slow push mid, or at least let the mid laner take it from there. And good news is, they ended up brawling. This uh, Chinese Japanese guy. Pretty sure it's like Japanese maybe. I don't know what it says, but you know I could guess. It says Severog on top of his uh, head. But besides that, he ended up alting us. Aurora ended up ulting him, which was very good. Stalled him for a second, right-clicked him, got the kill. We secured it. Easy peasy. Notice that they were pushing very hard left side. I've noticed, like, if you don't gank the people, obviously they're going to push it very hard, take advantage of what your plays are. Or I've just noticed that a whole entire team would be in a team fight except their ADC. So what would happen is he would still be pushing left. And I don't know why you need him in team fights, but apparently, you know, he's not ever fighting. And I've noticed this guy did have black buff, so right away, I knew it was a horrible idea. Didn't notice two people. Good news is, tethered both of them. And then Lieutenant Belica ended up tossing them in the air, which was very good. That was a very stupid play. The second he got out of the jungle, I took one melee, noticed that he did have black buff. So be careful and, you know, choose your fights wisely instead of just going in balls deep just like me, honestly, that was a horrible play. So right here, was thinking that I had green buff. I could just tower dive and was waiting until he teleported because that was enough for me to tether. 
did my all inside their uh, inhib or actually tower and then made sure my green buff exploded on him giving me the extra damage and securing the kill this was pretty easy that was an easy play obviously but you know if I didn't get that tether it would have been good game wouldn't have killed him good news is secured this kill as well Aurora came in altered him and made sure he rooted him and he just died inside his tower which was very good we took this down noticed that everyone was backing up so obviously we just got to play smart we did slow push every single uh, lane which was very good we ended up just going against this Gideon he ended up teleporting out which was an obvious play this Murdoch was challenging him good news is cut him off and right click did one melee and that's it easy you guys need to just play smart pick your fights wisely notice this guy was wrecked instantly as well as if you guys didn't notice that he did alt several alted I don't know why he's gold right now but Pretend we didn't see that because he looks kind of dope to be honest. Tethered him, but he slowed me down. That was a very good play. My right click was cooling down and I couldn't kill him. From right here, obviously, Sevrog was overextending. Notice Revenant was behind me, didn't challenge. Waited until they killed the Sevrog and the second I turned around, I knew Sevrog was dead. So I went for the Revenant, ulted him, made sure at least I would get him in my ult. Slow him down and we would hit him with our auto attacks. And right there, we could have just went for Raptors. Didn't have HP, didn't have anything. So waited until we slow pushed right and then we'll go for Raptors right after. So good news is we saved right. But their Fang Mao pretty much overextended. It was like a 1v4. And he was just going around. Killed Murdoch inside our inhib. And from right there. Thought I had him in the tether. But right clicked him. Because he walked right past my sword. Oh my god. Don't say he got away. What the? Oh my sexy. Beautiful. Narbash. Uh, send me nudes. And just slide it into my DMs. Nothing major though. Alright. Notice right here. Easy flank on him. Revenant was my easy target. Went for him right away. He was by himself. This guy played it super smart. He ended up going for Aurora right away, which was super annoying because I went for the tether on him and then switched off to the Gideon. Noticed that he would have died if someone rooted him right away. He had no HP from right here. This was pretty smart, all right? Nobody saw this. Oh, shit. Oh, Flux, where are you? what the hell are you looking at? Are you all right there? You, you just became cross-eyed for a second. What's going on? Honestly... Thought he teleported back just to psych out everybody at Raptors, but your boy got psyched out and psyched in at the same time. I don't know how, but we'll pretend we didn't see that at all because I really got the L right there. But we ended up just chasing the Fang Mao right away. Thought he got away. Good news is we had a Murdoch. Lieutenant Belka did have Tele Blink right there. Either an ult or an auto attack by Lieutenant Belka. You know, it's a good game from there. So round two will go for or or prime oh my god actually we lost and i didn't want to show that because it was a pretty nasty fight it was like a 3v5 we challenge we got wrecked i was trying to tell him to retreat but no point who cares we'll go for round four we'll go to or prime and we'll do it it's not gonna stop me it's all right i'm slow pushing right we're going to or prime they ended up taking down revenant which was a guaranteed win in a team fight not actually guaranteed but you have the upper hand obviously because they're the damage dealers and if they don't have a damage dealer, obviously you guys have the upper hand to tank everything and also have your damage dealer to do work. So, was pushing mid. Round three, putting on my gloves, went for Or Prime. This is the third time we failed. Hopefully, third time's a charm. We're doing this Or Prime. Let's go. Was trying to slow push mid. Pretty much, I was telling him that, but it was kind of beneficial because we hard pushed mid and they still came and tried to steal or prime from us was still attacking or prime i was like i'm not losing this all right i lost this three times already this game i'm not losing this one let me get it i got this easy from there went for the team fight i had my tether not on anybody but ended up hitting three people with it they walked right across it we tossed this fang mao he ended up missing like who misses that replay that one more time oh my hey hey I think he's looking at the wall just in case uh, there was a bug or something. But he ended up dying. We ended up pushing mid, which was very funny because he hard pushed it, went over, and that benefited us a lot. So, good news is, we still lost this game. Now, messing around. This is like the moment where you're like, yeah, I won. Good game. Hopefully, my next game's like this, but that's one out of 10 million games you'll ever get a game like this and have randoms doing work. But you know what? It's fine, though. The good news is, 
our Murdoch was actually doing a lot of damage. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you guys do, and I'm out. Peace. Oh my, Murdoch killed the guy literally in his base. Wow.